to Missouri. And this should be met with, I believe, a cryptic command bounce snapcaster mage, maybe? Oh, that is incredibly true. Uh, completely forgot about Cavern. And right now I believe that he's asking why well, you didn't say that you were going to pay that uh, with the green from Cavern. And I do not remember what happens... Uh, which moderator are you referring to, Dark Plays? Uh, yes, Juzum Jin is better than Sarah Angel, but Sarah Angel was a lot easier to get. Uh, still is, turns out. Uh, I think, Ju Ju uh, sorry, Juzum Jin is, uh, a couple hundred dollars. Alright, so right now they're trying to resolve this Cavern of Souls dispute. I'm pretty sure that it'll be in favor of Cody, uh, but he, you might have to actually declare it. So, we'll see how it's ruled, as we do have a level, two a level 2 judge on the premises. Uh, I'm actually tongue-twisted quite a bit. Oh, so that it's assumed even at competitive? Okay, uh, well, we will see if that's what actually happens. Yes, I've been playing since I was, uh, 16, 16 years old. Alright, so, Brandon has cast the cryptic command, either way, and we're going to see the modes that he chooses. He might just draw and have countered that spell, and it can't be countered, and that's what looks like happened. Um, so, Azuri is now in play, and an attack is going to happen for Elvish Mystic. So, yes, um, HHJZSB, you were correct. It is assumed that you are using the cavern when it is tapped to uh, produce the, the green mana required to make it uncounterable. Um, Brandon's going to draw for turn. I think that was a stomping ground. I don't have his deck list over here, so I can't tell you if that's actually what it was, but I believe it was a stomping ground. Yes, it was. Oh, that's a Teferi. Hmm. Well, that's new. Uh, oh, welcome to Magic. Uh, it's always fun to play, and uh, if you keep watching this stream, uh, hopefully it'll make you, uh, and me, and all the people involved a little bit better at Magic. Uh, being able to talk out plays and seeing them played by some of the better players in the area is always a way to get better. And... Um, that's what we're hoping happens here, and it looks like Brandon's going to lose to the Azuri trigger, and the Cryptic Command got him. Um, unfortunately for Brandon, it did not work out how he wanted. Uh, he did uh, do what he believed, which was to call a judge and say he did not pay uh, for that Azuri by announcing it, but does not need to be announced anymore, it is assumed when it is cast, and uh, I think that they're still actually discussing that right now. Um, so, that's okay. There are worse things in the world. Um, but yeah, it is unfortunate that that happened for him, as uh, Cody wins that one 2-0. Uh, Brandon's going to do a quick sign, and we're going to try to get Carter back over here so I can go and get you the next match, and also get you... Uh, some information on some kind of giveaway we're going to do. We're definitely going to do some kind of giveaway today. I'm not sure what it's going to be. And in order to win said giveaway or uh, be chosen, you must, one, follow us on Twitch. It's real easy to do. And also, please, like us on Facebook. I will comment the hyperlink of the Facebook page in the chat. It is easy peasy to find. It's, we are the Hometown Hobbies on Facebook. I feel like we're almost Ohio State University the way we have to say it. Uh, we are Hometown Hobbies on Facebook, and if you like us on there and uh, follow us on Twitch and your name is called, uh, you will uh, 
you know, win whatever the prizes that we're giving away. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, uh, but it will be uh, something awesome, I assume. I feel like we usually give out pretty awesome things. Uh, two weeks ago, we gave away a Primeval Titan, and last week we gave away a Chandra Fire of Kaldash. Um, so, this week, or t I guess today, uh, we're, we're going to try to figure out what to do, or what to give away. Hey there, if you take this name, I'm done. Looks like Carter is currently busy, so, uh, gotta wait until I can get somebody over here before I head back over there. Uh, because it's pretty boring and I don't have any, uh, awesome images to show you all. Uh, in the meantime, is the one that I currently have, I'll go ahead and put up. Uh, it's what's going on right now so I mean this is what these players are playing for if you want to check it out the prizes are impossible to read because they're at the bottom of Liliana and they're in black and that was the only one that sort of showed up uh, I can read it if you want first place is $250 cash a regional pro tour qualifier invite and qualification for a starcitygames.com invitational along with five open series points um, and these are the minimum prizes. I'm not sure what will be added. I'll be able to get that to you uh, maybe by the either this next round or the round after. It depends on when Matt has listed the uh, final prizes. As The minimum prizes are always the prizes, and then we usually add a lot more. Um, so it's safe to assume that these are the prizes at the absolute bare minimum, but we should be giving out a little bit more than that along with all kinds of old pack door prizes. Uh, second place is 24 booster packs of, I believe we're giving away Magic Origins today, along with four open series points. And third, fourth is 12 packs apiece with uh, three open series points. And of course, fifth through eighth is six packs with two open series points. Uh, the open series points are important uh, in order to try to get the Rookie of the Year or Player of the Year race. Um, so now that that is said and done, uh, I'm just going to be in here with my buddy uh, Garrick. Good old Garrick, and uh, he's not really wanting to cooperate. Come on, Garrick! Garrick! Sorry about that. Garrick? No. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. You can talk about it. Alright, so we're going to try to get Garrick in this corner. There we go. Uh, so we're going to have Garrick and me in here and for the time being. <laughs> uh, and uh, just going to be hanging out and trying to talk about things. Um, so far what we've seen from Magic Origins, we haven't seen a lot. We've seen Harbinger of Tides in the first match uh, with Merfolk. Uh, but that is actually about it. So... When you see more Magic Origins, we want to see... I want to see Jace, Vryn's Prodigy. Uh, that's just an awesome mer uh, uh, merfolk looter. Uh, yes, he is very similar to Space Ghost. Uh, if I could do a Space Ghost impression, I would, but I don't think I can actually do his voice. Uh, the guy who fell, or the fellow who uh, voiced Space Ghost, I think he passed away recently. And uh, also, he has a very, very incredibly unique voice. It's very, very, uh, very unique. Once again. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dwynan's Elite does? Oh, Dwynan's Elite reminds you of Space Ghost. Well, that's also something else. Uh, looks like Carter is back, so I have to get rid of the hat for the time being, as the only way you can wear it is if you're on camera. So, I will be back, everybody. Is it weed in my phone? You okay? Sure. Awesome, thank you. All right, you guys got to deal with me now. Poor you guys having to deal with me. So, I missed what I know. Cody and Sumo played. I'm not sure what what happened between those two.
trying to catch up on chat. Cody one two oh. Alright. Yeah, it's an interesting matchup between twin and L's. I it depends, like if if Cody's able to get something like a um an early spell skite to protect himself from the combo. But anger anger the guys is such a blowout. Anyone wanna bet on Goku versus Superman? We'll see. Oh. I don't pay attention to too many things. I saw a lot of twin over the second second round. What's the point in saying taking bets if you're not like betting real money? Will you accept bets in Bitcoin? Have there been any sweet origin cards on stream yet? I'm not. I don't think there was any in that Cantor deck, so I'm not sure. What are these? Yeah, I don't. I don't know how this Cantor deck wins. Like I see a Perforos. I don't know how it gets to that point though. I've seen a deck like this before, but I don't remember doing it. Oh yeah, David Black played Harbinger. It didn't do anything though. I'm sure it's a lot better in the fair matchups. You know, like if somebody tries to go off with Twin, you can bounce to the whatever dude they're tapping with. And Dwinin's Elite. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, the makes it extra elf. I know there's a line of play where if you go turn one Harry's Druid, turn two Dwinin's Elite, make the token, then you can just immediately tap those three for three mana. And just excel, and just play like an Elvish Shark Druid and just... That seems pretty good. That seems like a pretty good line of play. I mean, it can't be bad. And you're just accelerating yourself so fast. Just getting on the board. I wonder what you take out though for Dwayne's Elite. Maybe Elvish Visionary? I like to draw cards though. Drawing cards is nice. I don't know. Maybe you do cut Elvish Visionary. I mean, you can't have too many two drops that don't do anything. Like, they don't produce mana by themselves. I don't know. Visionary is so good for drawing cards, though. And the Visionary reprint in Standard matters a lot because of the Abs index. They can cut those stupid Sayer Wayfinders. I'd rather like draw a random card than you know, kind of guarantee land. And this isn't Standard. This is Modern. I actually can't wait to play with the new set. New set looks sweet. I'm gonna be doing some brews. Try and get something going for Friday. I have already played. Liliana is sweet. Played her in some modern. Pretty good card. I think she's a lot better in modern. I feel like I've already said this too. You know, get the point across. Alright, so that was time in the round. So I couldn't imagine it being too long from now. I believe there were some time extensions, so. Yeah, it won't be too long.